If Shalom, this is your arc. Y'all is magnified. Coming back with another informative video. This video is titled Seth the K slash Straw Man. So with that being said, let's get to it. Oh yeah, but before I move any further, as always, I gotta stay for the record. I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so now with that being said, let's get back to it. So again, I titled this video, Sester K slash Straw Man. Okay? So now you have guys who's teaching this child support thing, telling you all to stay away from the straw man. But then... If you get their documents, it will have I a man or it will have your first name of the family last name. That is their attempt. And those, by using their documents, that is their attempt to try to separate you from this Sestake or that straw man, that estate, you know, that legal person, the transmit utility, whatever you want to call it. They're just trying to separate you from the straw man. It's all the same thing. Okay, so now that we're going to pick this up at the top where it says Sestike Trust, right? It says, he who has a right to a beneficial interest in and out of an estate, the legal title to which is vested in another. So now, the trust was created for someone's benefit. When was the, when was the trust created? The trust was created at your birth in the hospital on that birth certificate. That was the creation of the trust. You know, done by your mom, who is also known as the, uh, when she signed it, she signed it in her maiden's name, which means that by biblical law, that contract is non and void. Because if she's married, her husband got to be there to agree with that contract being made. Or if she's not married, her father has to agree with that contract being made. Okay? If she just can't get into a contract without having a man, which is her head, either her husband or her father, to sign off on these contracts. But since we're dealing with the wicked of this system, you know, who's dealing in the law of Satan, who love the bad people by contracts, this is what we get, you know, this is what we're involved in. Okay, but let's continue. It says, the person who possesses the equitable right to property and receives the rents, issues, and profits thereof, the legal estate, of which is vested in a trustee. You all remember I did my video uh, like two or three months ago, probably longer than that, called Appoint Your Trustee. Go back, check out that video for more information, you know, and then come back and listen to this video. It's going to all add up and make even more sense than what it did back then. But let's continue. It also says that when you're doing, when you're dealing with uh, um, trust, which is the Sester K, which is the all caps name, the straw man, by you using that name, it was created for your use, then it makes you the beneficiary of trust. Okay? That's who you are, the beneficiary. So now let's continue. Let's go to the Sester K use. So since it was created for you and you're using it, let's go in and let's get understanding of the use of the Sester K. It says, he for whose use and benefits, lands, or tenements are held by another. Okay? So now, who is it held by? It's held by that estate, the all capital name. That fits as an entity. The dead entity of that. But let's continue. It says the Sester K. use has the right to receive the profits and benefits of the estate. But the legal title and possessions, as well as the duty of defending the same, resides in the other. Who does it right who does it reside in? It resides in the trustee. Okay? The trustee will do the bidding. You're just using the name for his benefits. Okay? You are the beneficiary of that trust. But let's continue. Says to KV. He's whose life is the measure of the duration of an estate. So now once you're born, you automatically get that estate. And it starts to measure your life from right in the neck. Okay, but not only that, let's go back at the top. It says, it always talks about this legal title, right? So, who, what's, what's the legal title? You know, the legal title is the all caps name. And we're going to prove that. Okay? Well, I'm going to prove that. 
So let's go there. Let's go to the definition of legal title. Okay, so now we're going to pick this up where it says legal title. Since we know that the Seth Decay Trust must have a legal title. Okay, so now let's read it. It says legal title, one cognizable or enforceable in a court of law. So now when you receive documents, you know, stating with a name similar to yours, but it's in all caps to appear for summons or receives a summons to appear. Right. Most people believe that's them. No, it's not talking to you. It's talking to your estate, the trust, the legal person, your transmitting utility or your straw man. I like straw man, you know, I, I'm dealing with straw man. I like straw man. OK, but let's continue reading. It says or one which is complete and perfect so far as regards the apparent right of ownership and possession, but which carries no beneficial interest in the property. So now if you appear at court, right, and they call that name and you say you are that name, you just gave up your beneficial interest to the property. And because you gave your, your beneficial interest to the property, they'll hold you as trustee being liable for all debts, turning you into the debtor. That's it. That's all. The games they play, man. You know, that's the games they play. That's why I tell you guys, man, it's important to know how to use this straw man thing, you know, and don't be afraid to use it. Okay? But let's continue. It says, another person being equitable and titled thereto, in either case, uh, where I'm at, in either case, the antithesis of equitable title. Now, antithesis is a person or their opposite of someone or something. So now, if you are, if it was created for you to be the beneficiary, but then you turn around and say that you are now the trustee, you became the complete opposite of what it was created for. Okay? But let's continue. Let's pick this up right here. I want to do this case law right here where it says a title. Hold on. Let me, let me clear it, straighten it up some. Right here where it says A. Let's pick it up right here where it says A. It says a title, which is prima facie valid, is a legal title. Now, that's uh, the case law. But again, it says a tax title which is prima facie valid, is a legal title. So now, we're going to see about taxpayers. So this is for everybody in New York. New York, they putting the game out in front of you for all to see. So now let's go and see what is a tax title. Let's go there. Okay, so now as you guys can see, we're coming from the Ohio Supreme Court. But let's stroll over. We're going to have a good time, man. This is like I told y'all, man. My videos are giving you nothing but remedy and remedy only. So we're going to pick this up in Sherwood versus Colony, right? But we're going to start it right here where it says it. Okay? It says it was said that if the supervisors should improperly proceed to raise a fund under an unconstitutional act, a remedy could be had under uh, NY Laws 1864. Chapter 405, subsection 3, right? Providing that every taxpayer, and we talk about taxpayers, okay? In the city of New York was a Sestuk Trust. <laughs> okay? Hey, man, they putting it right there in you guys' face for all to see, man. You know? I'm just here to point it out and show you guys remedy and point you all to the right way, you know, to the right path. I tell y'all, don't travel that wide path, man. Travel that narrow path that's going to lead you to that remedy. But let's continue. It says, and the common council and supervisors were trustees. Now, remember I did my video titled Appoint Your Trustee that I mentioned earlier. And I told y'all in that video that all public officials are considered trustees. So let's continue. It says, and any SESTIC trust should be entitled. As against such trustees to all remedies to prevent waste of property held in trust. So when you appoint your trustee, you keep your property held in trust. You don't give it away. You keep it. They have no claim to that property. Why? Because it's yours. Okay? Because it's held in the trust that was created for you. Okay? But if you go in there and say you are that name, you gave it away. 
They're going to take and they're going to collect and they're going to turn you to a debtor. But let's continue. And that says, to all remedies to prevent waste of property held in trust, the court said the provisions of that section only give a remedy in the behalf of a taxpayer. So again, if you're in New York and they're taking money from you out of child support before taxes, but you're still considered a taxpayer, then your remedy is through your sex decay. Okay? Or your straw man. Let's continue. A member of the common council or a supervisor against the common council or the supervisor, there is no remedy given against such a body as the board of audits. So now it's only to benefit the uh, taxpayer. Why? Because the taxpayer is the beneficiary of the sex decay. What I've been telling you guys. But if you go in there and you say you are that, uh, that name, then hey, you give that right up and you're no longer considered the beneficiary. You are now the debtor. So with that being said, you all be blessed, man. Uh, like my video, subscribe, you know, share them, pass that word out. If you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. Make that donation, man. Get that ball rolling. Okay? So with that being said, you all be blessed. Shalom.